In a world where countless to-do apps promise to organize your life, Apple Reminders app stands out as a powerful but often overlooked contender. What if I told you this native app could potentially replace those third-party applications you're using? With its robust features and seamless integration into the Apple ecosystem, Reminders has transformed from what used to be a simple task manager into a comprehensive productivity powerhouse. Stick with me as we explore how to unlock the full potential of Apple Reminders app with the best tips and tricks to get everything done right. Let's get started. First up, let's talk about organizing your lists. If you don't know, lists are like categorized folders that help you organize your tasks and reminders. Each list can be customized with a name, icon, and color, allowing you to visually distinguish between different types of tasks, such as work, personal, travel, etc. In my opinion, the key to having a good reminder system is to keep it very simple, so let's clear out unnecessary clutter. When you first open up the application, you'll notice that you already have a few default lists created. Unfortunately, we can delete these default lists, but we can hide them. Click on the three dots at the top, then select Edit Lists and uncheck any list you wish to remove. I like keeping only the Today list available for a quick glance at tasks that need to be done today. Next, I recommend creating an inbox list. This inbox list will be the home for all your uncategorized reminders. The purpose of this list is to allow you to quickly add reminders without having to worry about adding a date or categorizing them at that moment. The easier it is for you to create a reminder, the more likely you are to do so and avoid forgetting any of your tasks. I like making this inbox list a smart list that filters for any reminder that has no tags or no date, meaning a reminder must have both of these properties for it to disappear from my inbox list. Once a reminder disappears from my inbox list, I know it's been categorized properly and I can find it in my other lists. Next, I like creating two more smart lists. In my case, I will create a personal list and a work list to separate my tasks as such. And as you can see, both of these lists will be filtering based on the tag assigned to the reminder. Let's finish up organizing our lists by creating one final regular type list, which we'll name default. If we don't set this up ourselves, the Reminders app will automatically create a regular list when we add our first reminder. This new list is essential because Reminders app requires a default list to store tasks added via Siri or other shortcuts. Unfortunately, you can set a smart list as the default list. Otherwise, we'd make our inbox smart list the default. So I create this normal list to use as default, but really I never do much with it and tend to never open it and I'll deal with all my tasks directly in the three smart lists that we previously created. Now that we have our lists created and organized, let's take a look at different ways we can quickly add reminders. One of the quickest ways to add reminders is by using Siri. Simply hold down the side button or say the magic words, followed by your reminder details. For example, remind me to call John at 3 p.m. Another Siri-related way to add reminders is, for example, while you're browsing in Safari, you might come across something that you would like to follow up with a task or reminder. Simply ask Siri to remind me about this and Siri will create a reminder with a direct link to the web page you're viewing. So you can easily return to this web page directly from the reminder itself. When an email requires a follow up or sparks a task, you can seamlessly set a reminder directly from the mail app. I like highlighting the subject or part of the body of the email, then clicking on share and selecting the Reminders app. This will create a reminder in the application that is linked to this specific email. So you can always come back to it by just clicking on the Mail app icon inside the reminder. On a similar note, I do have a video sharing some tips and tricks to get most out of the iPhone Mail application. So if you would like to learn how to better use the Mail app, make sure to check that video out in the description down below. Similarly to the sharing from Mail app feature, you can add reminders from the Notes app. If you have a note with important details or a checklist that you need to address, highlight any part of the note, select the share option, and then select the reminders app. The notes content will be linked to the reminder, allowing you to quickly access it without needing to search through your notes later. The last option to quickly add reminders that I would like to review is to create a shortcut and linking it to the iPhone action button. 
This allows you to quickly add a reminder by simply holding down the action button. And furthermore, you can customize the shortcut to include specific prompts or fields, making it a very versatile tool for capturing tasks in various contexts. But if you just want something very simple like I have here, I'll have the link to this shortcut in the description below for you to add it to your own shortcuts. Once you add it, simply look for the action button in the settings application and select the add reminder shortcut as the desired action. Now tying it all back to the first section of the video, all of these actions will be added to the default list, but they will also be in our inbox list since they have not been categorized yet. So let's categorize them now. A quick way to select multiple reminders is to tap any reminder with two fingers and this will allow you to select multiple reminders at once that we can begin categorizing. To categorize them, I will add a work or personal tag to each task and ensure that all reminders have a due date. After this is done, these reminders will disappear from the inbox list and we can now manage them directly in the work and personal list. One of the standout features of the latest updates in iOS 18 is the integration between Apple Reminders and the Calendar app, which provides a unified view of tasks and events or appointments. Your reminders now appear directly within the Calendar app, providing a cohesive view of your schedule. You can see reminders alongside your calendar events, ensuring that nothing slips through the cracks. To enable this feature, simply open your Calendar app, go to the Calendars option at the bottom, and ensure Schedule Reminders is checked. This will display your reminders with their due dates and times color-coded according to the list they belong to. Another great feature of this integration is the ability to create reminders directly from the Calendar app. To do so, click on the plus icon on the top right, move over to the Reminders tab, and fill out the required information. You can also manage reminders within the Calendar app by marking them as complete or dragging them to a different due date and all of these changes will also be reflected in the Reminders app. One last callout I would like to make are the new viewing modes introduced in the Calendar app. You can switch between compact, stacked, or detailed views, allowing you to see your tasks and events from different perspectives, depending on your preference and needs for the day. But my favorite view is the new multi-day view, which you can access by diving into a single day in your calendar then selecting multi-day. This view allows me to see what I have coming up today and tomorrow, giving me a clear picture of tasks and events that are coming up soon. Let's end the video by reviewing some quick wins to better use Apple Reminders. You can break down larger tasks into manageable subtasks. This feature is perfect for projects that require multiple steps, ensuring you don't overlook any crucial details. Simply click on the information icon on any reminder, then scroll down to where you see subtasks and begin adding them. Once you're done, you can see how many subtasks a reminder has with the highlighted blue text right next to it. Next, you can further organize your reminders by creating sections within lists. For instance, in a work list, you might have sections for meetings, reports, and follow-ups. This additional layer of organization makes it easier to locate and manage related tasks without having to sift through an extensive list. The only thing I don't like about using sections is that you have to manually move reminders around into each particular section. I really wish there was a way for us to automatically allocate a reminder to a specific section, so hopefully we see something like that in the future. Nevertheless, I can see sections being beneficial, especially when you're working on an iPad that does offer more screen real estate. The last quick win to review are list templates for tasks you perform regularly, like packing lists for travel or weekly grocery shopping. You can create a list, save it as a template, and reuse it whenever needed. This saves time and ensures you're always prepared. And there you have it, a complete journey into mastering Apple Reminders done right. By leveraging these tips and tricks, you're well on your way to replacing cumbersome third-party applications with this streamlined, powerful tool that's perfectly integrated into the Apple ecosystem. If you found these insights valuable, please hit that like button and share your favorite reminders tip with us in the comment down below. Be sure to check out our next video on mastering the Apple Mail app to further boost your productivity. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.